So these are Napier's bones. The original ones were made of uh, wood or ivory, hence the name. And what you had is a set of the sticks, uh, each with a digit at the top uh, to represent the digits that you wanted to multiply. So if you wanted to multiply, say, 65 by a particular number, you'd get the ones with 60, uh, with six, sorry, and five at the top, and you'd have a an extra one to just to number the rows for you. So if I wanted to do, for example, 65 times three, uh, what I would do is I would look at the three row across here, and I would look at the digits that were in that row. So um, I've got one, uh, and then I would add uh, the numbers that are separated kind of diagonally. So um, to write this down, so 65 uh, times three, we start, probably easier to start on the right-hand side, like when we would when we're adding in case we need to carry, but in this case we don't. So I would say five for the units, and then we add up diagonally for the next column. So that's a nine, eight and one makes nine. And then we've got uh, the one on its own at the end. So 65 times three is 195. Uh, what about if we're multiplying by a bigger number? So if we look at the bottom, if you wanted to do 65 times eight, um, so st again, starting from the right, so 65 times eight, the rightmost digit is the zero, so that's our units. Then in the next uh, column, in the diagonal section, we've got an eight and a four. Now eight and a four is 12, so what we would do is we'd write down the two and carry the one, and then we'd have the four uh, from the final column, and then we add the one we've carried. So what we've got is 65 times eight is 520. So that's okay, and it works with um, more digits as well. So if I add uh, 653, for example, if I wanted to do 653 times, uh, I don't know, four, so I would have, it'd be two, um, then it'd be six, and then it'd be one, and then it'd be two. So two, six, one, two. So I can start from the left if I can see that there's no carrying required. What about if I want to multiply by, um, you know, more digits? So what about if I wanted to do 65 times 34? Well, what I could do is I could do, use exactly the same method um, that we use um, when, we, when we're doing the kind of uh, the standard school uh, method. So if I did 65 times 34, you do it in two stages. So I do um, 65 times 3, well we've already done that, um, so 65 times 3 is 195, but so 65 times 30 is 10 times as much, isn't it? So 65 times 30 is going to be 1950, and then what we do is we then do the 4, so 4 lots of 65 are 260, so we'd add on the 260, and then we just add them together in the standard way. So zero and zero is zero, five and six is 11, and we carry the one, nine and two is 11, and we carry the two, uh, so we carry the, uh, right two, carry the one, and so that's 2,210. So obviously I'm using paper uh, Napier's bones here. You can print out a set for yourself by following the link in the description.